So why do Chinese people love Jews? Hey Love Winners, it's Slowdy6 here with another video. That probably was a jarring question, but I gotta tell you something, at least anecdotally. When my mother-in-law found out that Vivi was going to marry a Waiguren, a foreigner, a Lao Wai, a Yang Guizi, she was super disappointed to find out that I was, in fact, Now why? Why was she disappointed? Why would someone be disappointed about this? It's either a religious choice, you know, Judaism, Christianity, all this kind of stuff, and then you can also look at it kind of like a, a racial issue, maybe like from Israel or something like this. Why was her mother and her father just so damn disappointed? Well, we're gonna get into this, and I'm gonna get my wife in on this. We're gonna go through some old stories and kind of answer the question as to why so Vivi, one of the most interesting things that happened to me was when I used to walk around China and people would ask me where I'm from, number one, I'd say I'm American, number two, I'd say I'm from New York, right? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, what do you think they asked me after that? Are you Jewish? Yes. And that was really, I don't know, it took me aback, right? It's kind of like you wouldn't ask someone that in the West, like, oh, are you, are you Jewish, by the way? But actually in China, it's like a, a really big deal. I right. mean, if you're Jewish, that means you're rich, right. you're smart, right. and then you're like Jewish in the stereotype in China is like they're really well with money and they're hardworking mm -hmm. and then they have a fantastic edu uh, home education system and including their whole neighbor, uh, the whole community is like fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna get into this a little bit, but mm -hmm. I'll give you guys, for all you history buffs out there, just a little bit, a little tidbit. There are actually native Chinese Jews, right? Mm -hmm. And they're called the Kaifeng Jews. Mm -hmm. And they basically came in through the Silk Road from the West, uh, West, Western China slash the Middle East type area. And they settled in Kaifeng, which is in Henan province, mm -hmm. right? There are still a thousand of them left, but they're not, uh, they're not, how do I say this? They're not not Chinese. They're basically 100% DNA Chinese, Han Chinese people now mm -hmm. because they intermingled, but they're still practicing Jews in mm -hmm. Kaifeng, which I thought was kind of interesting. I thought you're not supposed to. I wonder why they didn't well, get they rid did, of it. Well, they did crack down big time. That's mm -hmm. why the numbers have dwindled so much, mm -hmm. right? But these are not the Jews that uh, Chinese people are looking up to. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about the Kaifeng Jews. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the Jews from the West, yeah. right? Not the Jews in Israel necessarily, majority of people I talk to are talking about and chiding and uh, putting on a pedestal the Jews from America, to be honest. They admire how rich they are in America. That's like two different Okay, things. so you're saying it stems from business acumen and also kind of how the families are put yes. together. So do you think there's a link between Han Chinese culture and Jewish culture? People said that, but I don't really think so. There is a really funny thing that happened in China, uh, in America, mm -hmm. which I realized Jewish people love to eat Chinese food, but Chinese people don't eat Jewish food. <laughs> well, you're jumping into some stereotypes here yourself. <laughs> now, the reason being is you're leading me into a good point. Let's talk about your family. Okay. Your family was super bummed when they found out that I, in fact, was not Jewish, right? <laughs> I remember some of your family members, this wasn't your parents, but they were talking about my nose, yes. right? <laughs> and they were saying, well, you must have some, some Jewish in you, mm -hmm. right? And they were super excited when mm -hmm. I had the first opportunity to meet your family. Mm -hmm. And when they found out that I was not, in fact, Jewish, mm -hmm. and my family was not Jewish, and we are Catholic, and we had absolutely no Ashkenazi Jewish blood in mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. They would go on to stories about why Jewish people were so much more superior mm -hmm. to someone like me or to other people around the world, even superior to Chinese people themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So your dad used to tell me some stories. Yes. And he, actually, your dad is very well read, right? And I found some of these books in your dad's bookshelf. There were certain books as to why Jewish people were so much more superior. And he would give me some, we'd drive in the car together or whatever, and he'd give me some of these inspirational stories. Uh, which were kind of funny. So I did a little research and I found out there are entire sections of uh, bookstores in China. Mm -hmm. They're not in English, mm -hmm. they're all in Chinese, but about why and how to become like a Jew, right? <laughs> I want to read you some of these ti the titles of these mm -hmm. books, okay? I thought this is kind of funny. The Secret of Talmud, The Jewish Code of Wealth, <laughs> Secrets of Jewish Success, Ten Commandments of Jewish Success. What's behind Jew Jewish Success? Um, there's a quote from that book, actually. It says, all Jews have hook noses. This is not accurate. Despite 
hook-nosed Jews in cartoons. Only Jews in Russia and Near East have hook noses in real life. <laughs> so, you know, the typical like mainland Chinese, let's just jump, jump to conclusions. It's the favorite game, isn't it? Uh, there's all kinds. There's literally so many books. Uh, one of them is called How to Get Rich Like a Jew. Right? Mm -hmm. So why do you think this sort of book because this is actually when it happened it was in the 80s and 90s all these like self-help books about jewish people exploded in china why did those become so popular do you think it was because of reform and opening in china so people could finally start doing business legally because no. chinese people are always into business right yeah Chi not necessarily all the chinese people mm. but like specifically Kanto region people. I was going to say, I have a theory that northern Chinese people don't really worship this Jewish culture I as much know. as the southern I people. I don't know, but I like the most familiar place we talk about Chaoshan people, which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, in the, a little bit north of uh, Kanto yes, region. Yes, it's still in southern China. Yes, yeah. still southern China. They be quote at the uh, Southern Chinese Jew, right? The, because they're really good at the Jews doing of China is what, yeah. what other Chinese people call them, yeah. right? Yeah. And what is it about? So we talked about the whole business thing, but what is it about the family, the familial culture that's so appealing to Chinese people? Family is a group. Mm -hmm. You are never the like most important separate. Right. They keep like a despite Western culture about like the family because the kids at too independent. When, too independent when they uh, grow up, they just like detach from the family and bye bye with daddy, mommy, and something mm -hmm. like that. But Chinese absolutely despite that kind of culture. Mm -hmm. But which is nowadays, I don't think it's that tight anymore. Um, but right. the thing is, like, still people like will admire how you educate your kid mm -hmm. and make them as a successful person, like as your life go on. Mm -hmm. um, Jewish people like they really, really, uh, they they really, really focus on the education. My um, my cousin in law, she's actually Jewish, so she told me that we're not gonna convert anybody unless you really, really want to be part of us. Mm -hmm. But the most thing we focus on is the education. Mm -hmm. That like making a lot of Chinese people go insane mm -hmm. already. Think about it though, the majority of like rich people, they move here if they have kids. What kind of property they're looking for? Right. Even, right. <laughs> even me, the first priority is I need to go for the best school district. Sure, sure. Education is the most important. Right. Um, probably other parents also, but like not crazy like us. Right. Like Jewish people, they are also crazy about education. Right. And the house, the how you house your manner and uh, what's your education what's your um career career mm -hmm. every single mm -hmm. thing just form that's very this similar to southern chinese people yeah, that's just a perfect form like the ideal chinese people want. right right so i'm seeing some links here right now you mentioned your cousin a lot when your cousin um he's a chinese guy obviously he's blood related to you Yes, but he's not Chinese anymore. He well, identified he, yeah, he, himself as American. He sold out. No, he grew up here. For the red, here. white, and blue. He got rid of the red. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, he grew up here. But anyway, your family, they came to my wedding, right? Mm -hmm. Your family was so pumped when he married a white Jewish woman. Mm -hmm. Straight up, like, New York Jewish woman, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember how much praise she got in that situation, you know, because it was it was the polar opposite situation of bringing in some dirty backpacker like me. <laughs> you bring in this... You beautiful, successful white Jewish woman, and it's like perfect, perfect match. Well, for... to be honest, they are really smart. They're See, you're really doing the stereotype wealthy. thing again. You're doing it again. You know. Well, actually, my uh, even my cousin already is like convert as a Jewish. Mm -hmm. Their kids. Are he, so he converted. Yeah. The Chinese dude, your yeah. Chinese cousin, converted to become yeah, Jewish. Yeah, they're a couple. That's very interesting because usually I think in the Jewish faith, like converts are, are fairly uncommon compared to like evangelical Christians and things mm -hmm, like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's really funny. Remember when we went to New York City and you kept pointing out and we actually spoke to some of the Hasidic Jews mm -hmm. uh, that have like the yeah. you know traditional outfit suit uh -huh. and the hat and everything. Are those the types of Jewish people that Chinese people are thinking of when they're looking for this inspiration? No, they think about rich people. They just think about like the majority, CEOs. Yeah, the majority control you Americans. <laughs> Even the president. 
how you can cut that part. I mean, that's not your opinion, right? This is、no. this is the kind of speech that gets thrown around in yeah, China. Yeah, in、right? the in the media, who is, like when you say Jewish people, who is in the video,、uh, who is in the news?、Mm-hmm. The rich people, the like the what's it called? The people who can control everything. Yeah, and that's that's what Chinese people use as inspiration,、mm-hmm. basically, because control.、Yeah. That's why you have things like not to flip this on its head. That's why you have Chinese people who say, "Well, Hitler was good," and then you're like, "Wait, what?" And then they're like, "Oh, because he was a strong leader." They're appreciating his leadership, not so much his character, right? So when you talk about different groups and these wide, you know, expansive things, they'll say Lenin was good because he was a good leader.、Mm. Mao was good because he's a good leader. Jewish people are good because they control business. They're good at this kind of stuff, and right? And Ger- German people are good because they strictly follow the rules. Right. And、yeah. which you claim that you are German. You have. <laughs> well, that's why none、percent. of this. That's why I don't buy any of this racial stuff,、and、right? It's my, your environment that you grow up in. And then my parents just really disappointed about like you the. <laughs> throwing everything, your、right. house chore and、right. stuff. It's like he definitely not. See、German. again, this is the thing: is they will look at your racial identity, and then those attributes will immediately carry、mm-hmm. over. And I did have a coworker in my university. He was Jewish, right? Oh, I don't think he was a practicing Jewish person, but he, every time he would throw it out there, when people would find out that he was Jewish.、Mm-hmm. You're so smart. You're gonna be so successful.、That's、You're amazing. He, he's a normal dude, right?、Mm-hmm. He's a normal dude, but he got to he got to really just、mm-hmm. rake in this praise, right?、Mm-hmm. Because he immediately absorbs all of the attributes of that. And I can tie this back to Chinese people in general. When one Chinese person does something, even not even Chinese national, like Chinese blood, does something, the entire country gets to claim、mm-hmm. that victory, right? That's collectivism. It's also like the stereotype when American talk about back then talk about Chinese people hardworking、mm-hmm. and then like、uh, love to save money and blah blah blah. Now look at that! Like the majority of second generation rich just ruin the whole thing. Tourist people ruin the whole thing.、Uh-huh. That no longer is ha- Chinese people hardworking. It's just like Chinese people being like ruined, spit everywhere,、sure. and you know destroy everything. So the easy money that just kind of plopped in their lap、mm-hmm. changed the whole stereotype of everything. Because、yeah. that was kind of a thing. Chinese people are hardworking, industrious, and that is slowly changing、mm-hmm. that stereotype. So there is a hierarchy. Yeah.、And、to tie this all back to the whole Jew thing,、mm-hmm. the highest of the high、mm-hmm. for the average, sub- at least southern Chinese person, is a Jewish person. They're the most successful, and they're the best match for a Chinese person if you were to be with a foreigner, for sure. And that's why I fail. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Now I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I thought it was quite a blast. If you want to see more stuff, go to patreon.com/lawy6. And don't forget, every single Wednesday you can watch another Lawy6 video at 1 p.m. EST. You can click right down here for another one. Every single Monday you can watch ADV China at 1 p.m. EST. And right below that, just in time for a beer, you can watch Serpents Today at 1 p.m. EST. And don't forget, every other Thursday we have our live podcast. It's an hour long, and it's awesome. We answer all your questions, so please subscribe to ADB Podcast as well. Thanks so much, Lawmakers. I'll catch you on the next one.